Vanderpump Rules star Raquel Levis has emerged as the villain of the season, giving some quotable moments throughout to win her the crown. After Raquel's affair with Tom Sandoval behind his long-term girlfriend Ariana Maddox's back was exposed, it became clear that the series had been hinting at Raquel's indiscretion throughout the season. Looking back through episodes of Vanderpump Rules, especially the most recent ones, proves that Raquel's behavior throughout the season has left viewers feeling like they've been watching a performance. With tons of moments of hypocrisy and several lies told throughout the season, Raquel's quotes make her look more villainous than ever. Raquel, who joined the cast as James Kennedy's girlfriend during Vanderpump Rules Season 5, has been more of a background player throughout the years. She engaged in drama from time to time, but has typically been shown as a supportive character. As the show has continued on past James and Raquel's engagement, which they broke off in 2020, and into a new era, Raquel used her newfound singledom to her advantage. She kissed Tom Schwartz, the recent ex-husband of Katie Maloney, earlier in the season, which ruffled many feathers. However, it seems their connection may have been a cover-up for Raquel and Tom Sandoval's relationship all along. 10 Raquel puts an unserious hookup over her friendship after making out with Tom Schwartz for everyone to see at Sheena Shea's wedding to Brock Davies. Raquel was quick to try and clear up the severity of the kiss. She was uninterested in anyone thinking she was open to dating Tom, especially because she didn't want that information to get back to Katie, who she reassured of her disinterest. However, in an interview segment, Raquel spoke directly to camera as she shared the truth, that she would definitely be interested in dating Tom. Raquel explained, my attraction to Schwartz definitely outweighs my desire to be friends with Katie. 9. Raquel calls Tom Ariana her forever friends during a glamping trip for Raquel's birthday. Tom Schwartz, Tom Sandoval, Ariana, Sheena, and Brock were all spending time talking about Raquel's accomplishments and helping her ring in her 28th birthday. The affair between Tom and Raquel had started just a few months earlier, but the group were still not privy to the fact that the two were together. However, the cracks in their facade were beginning to show though. In an interview segment, Raquel got hypocritical as she explained, these are my forever friends. These are the people who are looking out for me, who believe in me. That means everything to me. 8. Raquel openly lies to Katie a second time during an episode earlier in the season. Raquel reassured Katie she didn't have any intention on getting with Tom Schwartz, confirming she wasn't interested in Katie's ex-husband. When Raquel hooked up with Tom, it became somewhat confusing, but when Katie asked Raquel about the whole thing, Raquel assured her it wasn't serious. She went on to explain that she still wasn't interested in Tom, trying to make the whole hookup as blasé as possible. Meanwhile, in an interview segment, Raquel revealed, if Schwartz showed interest in me, I would be down to date him. 7. Raquel calls Lala out for being a mistress earlier this season. Raquel made it clear she was single and ready to have some fun. During a girl's trip to Las Vegas to check out the Vanderpump A Paris experience, Raquel and Lala were both vying for the affections of Oliver Saunders, the real housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcelle Beauvais' son. While Lala didn't seem too serious about it, Raquel knew Lala was interested in Oliver, but decided to go for it anyway, making out with him and causing a rift between the two. During a confrontation, Raquel referenced Lala's past harshly when she said, You give off mistress bimbo vibes, 
without much prelude. Six Raquel says she's glad she doesn't have to be a role model Raquel has talked about her experience with pageants, competing her entire life. Though Raquel has decided to go in other directions with her life, it's clear that her pageant days mean a lot to her. In a recent episode of Vanderpump Rules, she mentioned that she's not sure where to go next. During an interview, Raquel explained that she feels she doesn't need to be a role model, saying, I've always been the good girl, but now that I've aged out of pageants I don't have to worry so much about my reputation. So, I feel like I am making up for lost time right now. 5 Raquel believes she's always trying to grow Raquel has been victimizing herself throughout the Scandaball drama, and even before with the rest of the drama she's dealt with throughout the season. Though she's definitely allowed to try and make a change for the better, it seems like many of the actions she's taken throughout the season were self-serving and left her looking like the villain to all her friends. Regardless, Raquel asserted tearfully during an interview segment, I am always trying to grow and be a better version of myself. 4 Raquel takes a harsh stance on Oliver's actions after making out with Oliver in Vegas. It was uncovered that he may not have been truthful with Raquel about the state of his marriage, claiming he was separated from his ex. When Raquel was confronted with the information that he might still be married, she reached out to Oliver's wife in shock, then confronted him about his behavior. It just seems so manipulative and selfish, Raquel said of the way Oliver had used her to cheat on his spouse. She went on to talk about not liking the behavior, even though she was already doing the same thing with Tom at the time. 3 Raquel has no regrets in a recent episode of Vanderpump Rules. James and Raquel had a conversation after their broken engagement was brought up, and both were feeling uncomfortable discussing it. James shared that he regretted the proposal, explaining in his interview segment that he regretted the proposal because it didn't pan out, but Raquel took it harshly. She explained to James that she has no regrets, with a very point-blank, straight-faced delivery. It's clear that Raquel wasn't considering the affair that collapsed her friend group at the time, but she may regret it by now. 2. Raquel claims to be reflecting on who she is though Raquel has been through some difficult times in the last few years. It's clear that she hasn't had a lot of time to process the things that have happened to her. Earlier in the Vanderpump Rules season, Raquel claimed she was already doing a lot of work on herself. I feel that being single for the first time in my adult life has allowed me to reflect on who I am as a person, Raquel explained in an interview segment. Unfortunately, her words aren't ringing true knowing she was engaging in an affair. One Raquel believes there are worse actions she could take Raquel and Lala spoke at Sheena's wedding, with Lala feeling betrayed by Raquel going out of her way to kiss Tom Schwartz around Katie. While Raquel tried to rationalize that she wasn't thinking, Lala argued that being thoughtless and inappropriate was the issue, and Raquel was behaving in an immature manner. Raquel quick to try and defend herself in any way possible, said, I can take accountability for making out with Schwartz. I feel like there's probably a million other things I could have done that would be a lot worse. Knowing that Raquel and her Vanderpump Rules co-star Tom Sandoval were already engaging in an illicit affair makes her pointing this out so much worse. Let's